Welcome to DJ Manager video training presented by Scott Faber. Contact us for DJ Manager questions and sales at scott at thepartyfavors.com. Toll free 866-569-1793. Search for us on Facebook at DJ Manager. DJ Manager is designed for Windows, PCs, using Windows XP through Windows 7. You must have a working copy of the software Word in order to take advantage of the many form letters and features available in DJ Manager. Not a open source version, but the actual software version of Word. So, today we're discussing contacts and entities. People in your DJ Manager database, this is part one. Let's get started. Your DJ Manager will look something like this. Click on Contacts, Entities, and there will be a list, large or short, of all the people that are on your DJ Manager database list. Click Insert or Change if you'd like to change somebody. And we're going to start by adding a person to your DJ Manager. This person's name is Adams, and the last name is Adams helps if you spell it correctly. And the first name is Johnny. Johnny Adams. No middle name here. And on the address one field, you'll add Johnny's address. One, two, three, Johnny Street, apartment, one, two, three. Notice that we put the apartment number on the address one line, not on the address two line. We use the address two line as an advanced feature which will be discussed in a later DJ Manager video training lesson. But for now, just keep all of your addresses defined to the single address one line. Apartment number, unit number, suite number, building, mail stop, all of those details, leave them on the first address one line. It's a field that can hold a lot of information, so you shouldn't run out of room. And that way you'll be able to leave the address two line open and available for what we call advanced features. The zip code option is a lookup, which means that you can plug in a zip code, press tab, and it will look up all the cities and states that have that zip code. The zip code is accurate as of 2008. If you happen to have a new zip code, you can click insert and add that zip code to your list. My recommendation is that you check to make sure it is a valid zip code before you add it to your list to make sure that your database remains accurate. Many people will say, yes, I live in a specific city and this is my zip code, only to find out that it's incorrect, that the zip code actually belongs to a different city, resulting in your mail not getting delivered properly. And so this is especially important if you're doing snail mail which DJ Manager can do, both email, automated email, and snail mail. So, in this particular zip code, there are a variety of different cities that share this one zip code. Select the one that best suits your client's needs. In this particular case, we'll call it the Downtown Carrier Annex. And then we will say that this entity is a person. You have the business option, but this is part one, which is dealing just with the individual person. Under the client option, you can say yes, no, or prospective, meaning they're a prospective client, or no, they were never a client, or they were a prospect at some point, and then no, they did not use your service, so no, they're not a client. But again, for our philosophy, everyone is a client until they say no, and in which case we would probably either remove their name from our database, or we would remove their email address so that they did not receive a future correspondence from us, but that their other information was still in the system. You also have the option to click the mailbox down here, which would say it's okay to send the mail or don't send the mail. You have an inactive option here as well if you want to make the uh, complete entity active or inactive. So there are a lot of uh, options that can help you to define the status of Johnny Adams in this particular example. Back down to this line, he's not a venue, he's not a competitor or a vendor, so we'll leave all of those boxes blank. 
we are manually typing in Johnny Adams' name here and his information, so he's not being imported by any specific list. Although when you do an import, you'll be able to say that this name and address came from a bridal show, a chamber of commerce list, or wherever else you're getting your names from. On the second tab, contact info, we will click insert and this will give us the opportunity to add Johnny's additional information. Because we already have his name on the first tab, we can click Same as Entity and not have to worry about that information being duplicated over again. Under the salutation, I do not send mail or email to Mr. Johnny Adams unless it's a very formal legal letter. Um, for the most part, we're going to address people simply by their first name and occasionally by their full name, Johnny Adams. But I do like to know whether they are Mr. or Mrs., which would tell me that she's married. Or um, if you have a name like Bobby, how do you know if it's a man or a woman? I even know a Michael that is a woman's name. So that's it and done. The Mr. <coughs> and Mrs. or even things such as Dr. Rabbi. There's Dr. Rabbi. Reverend Esquire, which is for an attorney. Those are also options that you can add to your salutations list, and that will help you to stay organized and address people properly when you call them. The contact type, it's not important at this point because Johnny does not belong to a specific uh, organization that you're aware of. This is just his personal information. Um, Johnny may be a family member or something of that nature, so that is not relevant. Under the email address, we're going to put jadams at yahoo.com. And we don't know if he's married or not. We'll discuss some married and Facebook options later in another lesson. But for now, we know that Johnny has a birth date and he was born January 2nd. 1985 and that makes him 25 years old and we don't know about his wedding date or wedding status so we'll leave all that blank. Under the third tab here, phone numbers. This is an unlimited list of phone numbers and all you do is click insert to add a phone number and there's a sample phone number for us and the default is work but if we happen to know that this is Johnny's home number we can simply change it to home. And if you wanted to actually add a work number for Johnny, you could do that. And there's a work phone number for Johnny. Um, and you might even have a fax number for Johnny, a very old school. And this would be a fax number. And there you have Johnny's three fax numbers. And that is your first personal entity. No frills, simple, easy to go. Johnny Adams is now in your system and ready to start receiving automated email. For sure, his birth date will put him on your birthday list. And so he'll, on January 2nd of every year, get an email from you that you've set up in the automated system, which we will be sharing with you in a future training session as well. That does it for now. For more questions regarding DJ Manager, contact us at scott at thepartypapers.com, toll free 866-569-1793. Search for us on Facebook at DJ Manager, and we'll be happy to answer your questions to help you be successful with DJ Manager.